whole class today we're going to demonstrate all the routes that you learned from the previous PowerPoint. I know that we're going to ride the ball before this is the actual place for a football game, but in the small space you're going to be able to see each route and how much one correct one. And Mr. Nunnery is going to perform that for you. This is a flat route. It is designed for the receiver to run five yards and then run straight towards the sideline close to him. The ball should come out very quickly. Next is a slant route. In this route, the receiver runs five yards and then slants on a 45 degree angle in towards the quarterback. The ball should come out quickly again. This is a comeback route. Here, the receiver will run 10 yards and then make a 45 degree angle cut towards the closest sideline. The ball should be thrown while the receiver is starting to break out of their route. Here is a curl route. It is the opposite of a comeback route where a receiver will run 10 yards and then curl back towards the quarterback for a quick completion. Next is a dig route. It is the opposite of an out in that a receiver will run 10 yards and then make a sharp 90 degree cut inwards towards the rest of the field. Next is an out route. Here the receiver will run 10 yards and then make a 90 degree cut to the closest sideline. This is a quite a difficult pass to defend. This is a corner route. Here the receiver will run 10 yards and then make a 45 degree cut towards the corner of the end zone. Sometimes it is called a flag route. Next is a post route. This is where a receiver runs 10 yards and then makes a 45 degree cut towards the goal post. It is the opposite of a corner route. Finally, we have a go route. Here the receiver runs straight down the field. He's thinking touchdown. Go long. You have seen many different routes run today all the way from a flat route to a go route. With Mr. Nunnery's demonstrations, you should be able to run routes like a pro. So during gameplay, remember to run these crisp routes.